Quiet in the courtroom. Court's in session. Good afternoon, folks. How you doing? Well, today, Tommy and I went to a local big yard sale once again, but it was in a different location. And we, at least I did not do out very good. I did not do very good at all. First of all, um, I think I did okay on this. This is five dollars. This is a brand new. There's a guy selling computer stuff over there. Hard drives, uh, 500 gigabyte hard drives for uh, $25, but they're off brand name. I didn't buy that. This is an enclosure for SATA drive. Comes with the um, cables and everything. And um, plastic case, but it's USB 2. USB 2 SATA hard drive used for it. That are uh, solid state also. So if I got like that little 60 gig hard drive, I can put that in here and use it as an external. That was $5. I think I did pretty good on that. I haven't put a drive in here, so I hope it works. It's got like, a, I guess, a software or something that makes it connect to the computer. I'm not sure how that works internally. <coughs> All right, this I didn't do good at all on. This is a um, Z40, did you say, Tom? Yeah. A Kodak Z40. Oh, yeah. A Z740. Z740. Five megapixel. Five dollars. It started working, and then it stopped. And all you hear... Is a motor going and then the, the thing goes out. We had it working, it's temperamental, takes two double A's. We even took some pictures out here, but when I put the memory card in, it didn't, wouldn't work anymore. I took the memory card out, still wouldn't work. So 10x optical zoom. I mean for five dollars, not that I need it, but it was something that, you know, hey neat for five bucks. Well, a kid owned this. I should know not to buy anything from a kid because he says, oh yeah, it works. I got several of them and yeah, right. He's got several of them and he probably kept the good ones. So we didn't do good on this. So we'll probably end up donating it back to the school. So I didn't videotape that yard sale. You see one, you've seen them all. All right, I bought this from the same vendor that this one was selling these things. It's a data to go external hard drive. Now, on the box, it says Windows XP and 2000 and ME. So it's an old hard drive but it's USB 2. When I plugged this in, it said FAT32, and it was impossible to format it. I could not format it. Gave errors and everything else, something about an I.O. something or other on an error. I took it and plugged it into my XP computer, my desktop, and managed to format it and get everything in. It seems to work fine, but when I went back and took, I put videos in here from my XP, music and pictures. They all they all show up, but when I plug it into my XP, it takes a very long time to load this into my computer. All right, so what the box says, it's only a 40 gigabyte, but I only paid $10 for the whole thing, brand new. This was all sealed up. It's only 480 megabytes per second, so that's probably why. So when I try to play a video, it stops, it's all pixelated, it won't play, you can't X out of it. I almost had to shut the computer down. It pictures music and video clips. Well, I wouldn't use it for video. So it's, it's an old system. But the fact is, 
It was ten dollars. It's an appears, appears to be an aluminum case, and it has the dual plugs in case you want to power, you know, a little more power to power this. It's IO Magic, and basically basic instructions. But it doesn't say Windows 7, and I can see why. So I managed to format it in Windows XP. Couldn't do nothing with it in Windows 7. All it went, you listen to it, it go click, click, clunk, 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 clunk. I had a Seagate that did this. I'll never, never buy another Seagate drive. I had to trash it. I had two Seagate drives that went bad on me. It's a worst brand out there. So I don't know what's inside this. This is IO Magic. But it didn't do that clicking anymore once I formatted it to NTFS, I think it is. Because when I plugged this in, it said FAT32 on it when I plugged it in my Windows um, 7 computer. So it's good to hang on to your Windows XP computers. Because sometimes things don't work in one, it will work in the other. So this is really old, so I wouldn't use it for anything more than just data storage. You know, I don't even know if putting videos in here, it'll, it'll take a while to go in. I don't know if putting videos in here would, um, if I transferred them back out of here and into the computer, let's say, in order to use them, whether it would work or get corrupted in here, I really don't know. But you cannot play a video from this. I read somewhere that this is like a 4,000 4, RPM or something, or I don't know. It's very slow. So anyways, it didn't do too good. I wasn't too happy with this, even though it's $10. I should have just bought another one of these. These are five, but I figured this would be a better deal because I get a hard drive thrown in with it for $5 more. What really upsets me is this because it's got a good size lens on it, but you go to turn it on, listen. Nothing on the screen. Nope. All you hear is the motor going, and I guess that's the zoom. But I did have it working, but now it stopped. Nope. Not all yard sales are good deals. I'll hang on to these, of course. Camera will just donate it back because I can't fix stuff like this. In fact, these are unfixable as far as I'm concerned. So, that's it. Hope you enjoyed my video. Thank you for watching. Maybe next week. I'll do better in yard sales.